Hello everyone, Heinlein here. In this video I will go through the emergency air restart procedure in the MiG-21. In the MiG-21 you can experience an engine flame out uh, in primarily two occasions. It is uh, if you pull uh, negative G's or you have uh, an exceeded uh, amount of angle of attack. Let's start with uh, negative G's. You can get uh, a fuel starvation if you pull uh, negative G's for a prolonged period of time uh, with the afterburner off it's uh, 15 seconds uh, more or less or 3 seconds with the afterburner uh, on so uh, it's not recommended that you pull negative G's uh, in the uh, MiG-21 for that reason and you can also uh, get uh, an engine flame out if you uh, get an angle of attack of above uh, 30 degrees uh, uh, for roughly five seconds, I believe. I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that. But uh, that is because it will disrupt the airflow through the engine, through the nose uh, cone. So, what to do if you experience a flame out in the air? Well, first you need to check uh, that your airspeed is above 500 or at least 450. And you need to maintain that airspeed through the whole uh, restarting uh, procedure. So, what to do if you uh, happen to have low airspeed and low altitude? Well, in that case you are up shit's creek and you better just pull the ejection handle. But let's uh, ignore that for now and uh, proceed. So, let's say that you have uh, an airspeed of above uh, 500 and uh, enough altitude to maintain it uh, through the whole procedure. Then you pull uh, your throttle handle back to uh, idle position. And then you flip this switch right here, called uh, uh, emergency start, uh, correction engine emergency air restart. And what uh, that uh, does is that it helps you spool up uh, the turbine to uh, to get enough uh, speed to uh, reignite. If you see uh, this uh, switch right here, this one shows the amount of uh, oxygen uh, that the emergency system uh, has uh, has left in it. So it's also very important that after the engine has uh, ignited that you flip this uh, switch back off so you don't uh, spend all of your emergency oxygen. So after you have uh, put your engine to idle and uh, you have uh, flipped uh, the emergency uh, uh, air start uh, switch and uh, you have put yourself on a glide path uh, that makes you able to maintain 500 kilometers an hour. Then you're going to watch your RPM meter right uh, here. And once the N1 reaches uh, uh, 60 to 70, then, uh, you're, uh, then uh, you can start to advance your throttle again. And uh, at that point, your engine should come back uh, to life. And once that is done, you uh, flip uh, the emergency air, air start uh, switch back uh, off again. So let's uh, try to pull some uh, negative uh, G-sly right now and stall the engine. Okay, let's uh, just pretend that we just uh, made a uh, departure from an airfield and we are in full burner. Okay, so we're coming up on 400 meters. Let's pull some negative G's. Okay, now my engine died. And right now my engine are no responsive, so I had a flame out. Okay, so uh, now I'm gliding pretty good right here. So let's uh, engine to idle and flip this one. And my airspeed is good. And you can see that my uh, RPM is coming up. Okay, let's try to slowly advance it. Yeah, we got a f uh, successful uh, air restart. Let's flip the switch back off again. So 
So, let's uh, do this uh, one more time just to uh, show you. Okay, just uh, pause for a short minute right here. Just as the engine cut, you can see this uh, dispense tank uh, empty. Uh, empty light came on, and that means that the uh, tank, uh, that uh, little uh, pressurized tank is uh, empty, and uh, now your engine is uh, stalling. So, just wanted to show you that. So, let's try to make another air restart. All right, my engines are non-responsive, and is uh, and is dying. So, engine to to idle, like so. And let's turn on uh, our emergency air restart. And we have a uh, quite need to we need a bit more speed. It seems. Yeah, need more than five hundred. Okay, my engines are now responding again. Let's turn off the uh, emergency air restart. So, that's uh, how you conduct an emergency air restart in the MiG-21. So, I hope it was helpful and I see you in the next video. And finally, I just want to thank everyone uh, for your support. Earlier this week we broke the 100 subscriber uh, milestone, and that is uh, big for me. I'm uh, grateful for your support.